Good evening, and welcome to the inauguration of the 2022 to 2026 term of Brampton City Council. My name is Peter Fay, I'm the city clerk, and I will be your host this evening. As we begin tonight's meeting, we would like to acknowledge that we are gathered here today on the treaty territories of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and before them, the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Huron Wendat. We also acknowledge the many First Nations, Metis, Inuit, and other global Indigenous people that now call Brampton their home. We are honored to live, to work on, and to enjoy this land. We will begin our evening with an Indigenous welcome and song led by Patricia Chris John from the Oneide of the Thames First Nation and a member of the Bear Clan. Her spirit name translates to She Helps People. Patricia is a hand drum carrier and a storyteller with a long, lifelong interest in the community development within the Indigenous organizations and communities. She is one of the founding directors of the Indigenous Network, as well as a founding member of the Native Women's Resource Centre of Toronto. Please join me in welcoming Patricia Chris John.
Next, we have City Councilor Navjit Kaur <laughs> Next, we have Regional Councilor Michael Palashi Ward's Tulsas. <laughs> Next, we have City Councilor Dennis Keenan Ward's 3 and 4. Next to the mayor is Regional Councilor Martin Medeiros, Wards 3 and 4. Next is City Councilor Rod Power, Wards 7 and 8. Next is Regional Councilor Pat Fortini, Wards 7 and 8. Next is City Councilor Harkat Singh, Wards 9 and 10. Next is Regional Councilor Griffith Thompson, Kula, and Hamilton. And finally, His Worship, our Mayor, Mayor Patrick Brown. Thank you, members of Council. You can please take your seats. We're also honored this evening to have, us, have with us federal members of parliament, provincial members of provincial parliament, our Peel Regional Police Chief, Paramedic Services Chief, as well as our Region of Peel Chair, Nando Ayanyanka. From City Hall, we have members of our corporate leadership team, Interim Chief Administrative Officer, Paul Morrison, Acting Commissioner of Corporate Support Services, Rick Kennard, Commissioner of Community Services, Marlon Caladine, on behalf of Acting Commissioner of Public Works and Engineering, Mark Manor. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to his King Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm. Thank Vicente, please come forward and read aloud the Declaration of Office. I, Paul Vicente, having been elected to the Office of Regional Counselor in the City of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty, King Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm. All right, please sign.
have Jeet Kaur Brar. Please come forward. Read around for that please. I, Najib Gorbar, have been elected to the office of city councilor in the city of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that. I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or word or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I make the solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it will be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect if made under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly. Please come forward and read aloud the Declaration of Office. I, Michael Pileschi, have been elected to the Office of Regional Councillor in the City of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty, King Charlie III, and I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. I think King Charlie wants to mention you swear I swear. <laughs> City Councilor in the City of Brampton do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interests, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will faithfully and bear true, alle true allegiance to His Majesty, the King Charles III. And I make the solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm. Thank you. 
Martin Medeiros, please come forward and read aloud the declaration. Having been elected to the Office of Regional Counselor in the City of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear the true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, and I make the solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing that it is the same force and effect as if made under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I do swear and solemnly affirm. Uh, <laughs> Please come forward and read aloud the Declaration of Law. I, Rod Power, having been elected in the office of City Council in the City of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received or will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for, for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other proper, improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interests, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And, and I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is the same force and effect as if made under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm. Please come forward and read aloud the Declaration of Office. I, Pat Portini, have been elected to the Office of Regional Councillor for the City of Brampton. Solemnly promise and declare that I would truly be faithful and partial exercise the office of the best of my knowledge in the building. I have not received and will not receive any payment and reward, and I promise therefore for the exercise of this office in bias, corrupt, or any improper manner. I would disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with municipal conflict of interest act. I will be faithful and bear the true alliance of His Majesty the King Charles III, and I make the solemn promise and declaration from Central Sigley believed to be true and knowing that the office the same force effect can be under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm.
Hakarat Singh, please come forward and read aloud the declaration. I, Hakita Singh, having been elected to the office of city councillor in the city of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in, court, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and, faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration, conscientiously believing it to be true, and knowing that is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. And do you swear or solemnly affirm? I, I um, solemnly affirm and swear. Gurpartap Singh Tour, please come forward and read aloud the declaration. I, Gurpartap Singh Tour, having been elected to the office of Regional Councillor in the City of Brampton, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true, and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as is made under oath. Do you swear or solemnly affirm? I swear and solemnly affirm. City of Brampton do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or in any other improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will faithfully bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I make the solemn promise and declaration consciously believing it to be true, knowing that it is the same force and effect as if made under oath. Do you swear or solemnly affirm? I solemnly affirm.
Justice McLeod, I would now ask you to please turn your attention to the screen for a short video. NHLer Sean Monaghan, who comes back home to support local causes, Zach Pop, who's now a Toronto Blue Jay, and Mark Eversley, the general manager of the Chicago Bulls basketball organization. Our talented artists share our culture with the world. Brampton is Juno winner Have I Mighty for Rap Album of the Year. Comedian Russell Peters, who makes audiences around the world laugh. Ruby Core, poet, artist, and New York Times best-selling author. Ian Williams, who won the 2019 Scotiabank Giller Prize for his novel Reproduction, set here in Brampton. And singer-songwriter and Canada's first ever Best New Artist Grammy winner, Alessia Cara. We are grateful for those who serve our nation, including Henry Bershon, who was given a key to the city with his ongoing dedication to our veterans. And we cherish the time we have with him. former Premier Bill Davis, and his lasting contribution to the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. We radiate talent. We are at the forefront of space robotics and home to the Canada R3. In the movies they say, Hello Houston, they're going to need to start saying, Hello Brampton. Our future is limitless. And our best days are yet to come. Rose Theater, we are grateful and honored by your presence, your patience at the entry. And to the citizens of Brampton, here in person and watching online tonight, thank you for the incredible, incredible opportunity to serve you as mayor over the last four years. And I'm humbled to earn your trust again to serve for another four. I want to thank my uh, wife, Genevieve, first of all, who's my rock. Um, thank you, Genevieve. And thank you to my little ones, uh, Theodore and Savannah, um, who inspire me to build a, a better city for them to grow up in every single day. Um, it's past their bedtime right now, so otherwise they'd be here uh, as well. Um, a special thank you also, we're going to have some blessings later tonight, and I want to thank Pandit Tripathi, Sheikh Fazal, Deljit Sekhan, and Jamie Holtam, um, who will be sharing prayers and blessings uh, with the new council. I know sometimes there is a a culture and government to disavow faith, 
But I'm proud here in Brampton we celebrate faith because faith can be a remarkable force for good in the community and we've seen that firsthand in the city of Brampton. I want to thank our city clerk, Peter Fay, for being master of ceremonies tonight and for his contributions to our city and to our council. And thank you to Justice McLeod for not only swearing us in this evening, but for being an example of resilience, decency, and courage. Um, for anyone that knows Justice McLeod's story, I just want to say we're proud that he's, uh, that he's from Brampton and we're privileged to have him participate uh, tonight. I also want to recognize, um, we recognize the existing elected officials, um, but we have two trailblazers with us here tonight as well. Um, and dear friends of mine, we have um, former MP uh, Ruby Dalla, uh, give us a wave. Uh, and and uh, the first South Asian MP in Canadian history, uh, and the first turbaned MP in Canadian history, a trailblazer, uh, another dear friend, uh, Edgar Baxmall. Edgar Baxmall, please stand. My late mentor, uh, former Premier Bill Davis, taught me the importance of a Big Tent approach, being open to good ideas regardless of where they come from. I credit the former Premier for showing me there's a better path forward than the ideological battles we see too often in politics. Four years ago, it was the former Premier who did my swearing in as mayor. And although he's no longer with us today, his legacy continues to inspire us in the city of Brampton. I will listen to and serve all the people of our great city. We are neighbors, we walk the same sidewalks, use the same parks, shop in the same stores, and dream of a vibrant city, even if we prefer different paths on how to get there. We must respect, learn from, and hear each other. Each of us bring different experiences and life stories uh, that shape our relationship with government and our vision for Brampton. During the campaign, I had the opportunity and the privilege to listen to countless ideas from our residents. And I'm grateful to be joined in this effort by an amazing team of members of City Council. And I look forward to working productively with our new and returning council members. Each one of you offers a unique point of view that will make our conversations richer and our decisions more collaborative. Let's take a moment to introduce our council, our returning city councilors, Joanna Santos and Hart Carrot Singh, our returning regional councilors, Paul Vasante, Michael Pelleschi, Martin Medeiros, and Pat Fertini. And I'd actually like to do a special introduction for our new members of council, who the city may not know as well. City councilor Navjeet Brar represents wards two and six. You've had a lot of applause tonight, Navjeet. There, there's a lot of two and six fans here. Tonight. One thing that really inspired me about Navjeet is that during the pandemic, she worked as a frontline healthcare worker. Um, I think it's that selfless approach that's going to serve Wards 2 and 6 well. Um, City Councillor Dennis Keenan from Wards 3 and 4 is... He's an immigrant from Scotland who grew up in not-for-profit housing and now runs a successful large electrical contracting company and two restaurants. Uh, um, an incredible story of success. Uh, uh, welcome to City Council today. I was teasing Dennis before I told him how I was going to introduce him. I said instead of saying immigrant from Scotland, I was going to introduce him as an immigrant from the UK. Um, but he, he protested. Um, City Councilor Rod Power, who represents Wards 7 and 8, comes from, a, comes from a background of human resources, and we certainly know that skill set will be helpful at City Hall. Uh, Regional Councilor Gripertop Singh Tour from Wards 9 and 10. Uh, he has been a lifelong resident, is actually the youngest city councillor in Brampton history, the tender age of 29. He actually, um, you know, there's so many examples of where Gerber Tab has shown um, his selfless approach, but one example that really impressed me was during, um, during the hor horrifying events in, in Ukraine, um, Gripertab actually went with Kelsa Aid, an incredible organization in our community, and he went to the front to help. Him. 
there was thousands fleeing Ukraine, and, and Gerpertov was one of the humanitarian workers who said, I want to go there to help. So that is certainly impressive. It's a new day at City Hall in Brampton, where residents are first. Gone are the days of any notion of nepotism, untendered contracts, and catering to special interests of any old guard. We are building a modern, transparent, accountable city, a city every Bramptonian can be proud of. Brampton is Canada's ninth challenge and an opportunity. During the recent election campaign, candidates heard loud and clear from residents their concerns. And one of the top concerns was public safety. I know we've got our, our, our chief of police. There he is, the chief Nish. Nice to see you here tonight. Um, in the past two months, five police officers have been killed in the line of duty. Toronto Police Constable Andrew Hong was killed in a shooting in Mississauga that shook our region on September 12th. On September 14th, Constable Travis Gillespie, a York Regional Officer, was killed in a collision in Markham. On October 11th, Constable Morgan Russell and Constable Devin Northrop from the South Simcoe Police Department were shot and killed in the line of duty. Most recently, RCMP Constable Shaylin Yang from Burnaby, BC, was murdered. It was 16 months ago that a Brampton resident, Jeffrey Northrop, a detective with the Toronto Police, was killed in a parking garage, leaving a wife and three children in our community devastated. Police officers run towards danger when everyone else goes in the opposite direction. There is a debt of gratitude that our city has. They need to have the resources in place to do their job, keep our community safe. And I wanted to take a moment to thank them uh, for their sacrifice, for their work, and for their efforts in Peel Region. In Peel Region, we have 144 officers per 100,000 residents who are doing a great job protecting our residents within the resources they have in one of the fastest growing, most challenging regions. Montreal has 221. Edmonton has 182 per 100,000. Toronto, 162. Calgary, 160. Brampton's 104, 44 officers per 100,000. Since 2015, we've seen a 75% increase in the calls for family and intimate partner violence. And we're seeing an average of 468 auto thefts every month. It's easier to steal a car than ever before. Auto thefts have become a revenue tool for organized crime, which we have to address. And what I've heard from our residents is enough is enough. Give the police the tools to do their job to keep us safe. I campaigned on a plan that I'm intent on implementing. Hire 250 additional Peel Police officers to serve Peel Region. Triple the auto thefts organized crime police units. Expand photo radar speed bumps in your schools and parks. Hire 30 new civilian staff at 911. And we must, as a community, have zero tolerance on hate crimes in places of worship. Additional security for places of worship is necessary. No one should ever face fear, intimidation, or vandalism in their place of worship in our country. Not now, not ever. I appreciate the end of... And I appreciate the innovative approach that Chief Nish and his team have taken to public safety. The focus with their launch of the mental health and addiction strategy. You can't criminalize mental health. And whether it's the Mobile Crisis Rapid Response Team, the specialized mental health training uh, that we incorporate, um, the partnership with Canadian Mental Health Association, and the recent partnerships with community um, associations, it's so critical. It's important we have the right responses to the right challenges. Now, prior to my election as mayor, one of my frustrations was I saw there was gun and gang funding for Ottawa and Toronto, but we didn't have that same tools in Peel Region. And gangs don't care about municipal boundaries. They're not going to say, you know, we're going to stop at the Tobacco border. And I'm very glad we've been able to successfully lobby for provincial fundings to have that same resources for the Peel Police that I know Chief Nish is putting into good use. We've also brought in CCTV cameras on highways 410 and 403 that has led to many arrests, embracing new technology. 
My long-term goal for Brampton is to make it the most inconvenient, most miserable place in Canada to commit a crime. And we're going to make sure she... We're going to make sure you have the tools to do just that. I also want to talk about our economy here in Brampton. You know, Bill Davis used to say it's important to focus on the jobs of tomorrow. I remember him saying that in a speech in the 1960s that I read. And you know, that is as relevant today as it is back in the 1960s. So we're really focused in Brampton on creating the jobs of tomorrow. High-skilled innovation jobs. We remain dedicated to establishing Brampton as a prime destination to invest and reinforce Brampton very busy. And Brampton needs us to be busy. This is a phenomenal city, and we want to honor the extraordinary nature of our community. I continue to be so proud of the resiliency of Brampton. You know, during the pandemic, there were people that pointed fingers at our city, saying they had a higher positivity rate. The reason we had a higher positivity rate is because we had the essential workers that were keeping Canada's supply chain intact. Transportation, logistics, food processing, Canada's supply chain would have been in tatters if it wasn't for Brampton. Canada needed Brampton, Brampton delivered, we answered the call, we stepped up. This city can do great things. And this city council is gonna work day in and day out to make sure our city can achieve our potential. My commitment to city council, to city staff, and to the wider community is to lead the best way I can, to be a champion and a fighter for our city. I will work hard every day over the next four years to create opportunities for Bramptonians to succeed and thrive. I believe in my heart of hearts that the best days for our city lie ahead, and I can't wait to get to work tomorrow at City Hall. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mayor Brown. I would now like to welcome to the stage our religious leaders to bring a final blessing to the new council. Uh, and I'd like to welcome. Ramachandraya, I Jirendra Tripathi, and my colleague Mr. Ram Narayan Sukh. As a Hindu priest, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of all Sanatana Dharma followers, as well as all Brantanians at the Occasion of this oath taking ceremony, I pray to Almighty that He bless our very energetic and authentic Mayor Patrick Brown and all city and region council members. I pray the God provide strength to our citizen members to make our Brampton a prosperous and crime free city. Sarve Bhavantu Shukina, Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashchit Bhavet May means Devi happiness, harmony, peace and prosperity for all of you guys. Thank you so much. Special thanks uh, to the Patrick who's standing with the 
second nation on their issues. And I notice always, he don't, not only second nation, he is done with the every community. So he's a very genuine guy. I notice he, he is, whatever he is behind, the door closed. He is that in public as well. And I know next four years will go smoothly and Brampton is in good hand. And I noticed one thing, whenever I met him morning, noon or evening, he is always with the full energy. I don't know what the secret maybe we have to ask her, his wife. What kind of diet he take. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with the Patrick and the council. And the where may I have to bless them and the, his team, amazing team. And at the end, we do the Ardas that the Tan Tan Sahib Shri Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj gave us the two lines. I want to ask everyone here who can read those. Please read aloud with me. Nanak Naam Chadati Kala Sarabhata Kala More loud, there are more many people I see. Nanak Naam Chadati Kala Tere Kaane Sarabhata Kala Sarabhata da Pala means that the best, uh, ask the best for the all. What you do basically when you read this line, when you read with the full passion, you start receiving the full positive energy. So with the positive energy, when you throw on others, what will come back to you? Positive. So that's the philosophy Guru Nanak Dev Ji gave us and we're looking forward and thank you so much for everyone. Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa? Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa? Good evening, everyone. My name is Jamie Holtam. I'm uh, part of the ministry team at North Bramley United Church. I'm also the chaplain for the Brampton Fire Department. I'm privileged to, to play that role in our city. I uh, am honored to represent the Christian community this evening and really excited to, to, I love the vision that Patrick shared tonight for our city and really excited to serve together in our city. Jesus said there's two things that are the most important things to remember. One is to love God and the other is to love others. That's my prayer for our, our council as we come together tonight and, and get ready to, to move into action, that we would know God's love for us, that you would know God's love for you on some of those days when maybe you get more complaints than compliments. Do you know what I mean?